hello everyone welcome back guys hope you all are doing well this is mohammad badruddja and today we are going to solve the last lab from csrf vulnerability module and this lab is csrf with broken refer validation so the description of this lab is like this lab's change email functionality is vulnerable to csrf it attempts to detect and block the cross domain so this point to be noted it's not saying cross site it's saying cross domain Okay, so it attempts to detect and block cross domain request, but the detection mechanism can be bypassed. So we have one exploit server where we can host our HTML page to actually uh, exploit the CSR vulnerability for changing the victim's email address. We have valid credential, username is Wiener and the password is Peter. To access the lab, you need to click on this button, access the lab, which I already did. Here, I'm gonna enable the burp proxy on my browser and let's go to access the account so username is wiener password is peter login okay and what i'm gonna do here is just change wiener at test.west so i'm gonna change the email address email address being changed and now back to the proxy and here we can uh, analyze the request so this is the first request post request you can see the response header set cookie where we get the new session cookie and the interesting part here is you can see the same site is equal to none not lax or strict fine and uh, if we go to the change email functionality you can see there is um, no csrf token or csrf cookie but the interesting part here is this refer header value okay so you can see this is our genuine domain and this is the endpoint with the query string okay so because there is no csrf protection here so i'm directly go and try to access exploit server and here i'm going to simply host one html page so action is equal to we will put the url later method is equal to post input and type is equal to hidden name is equal to email and value is equal to let's say wiener2 or wiener3 let's say at test dot west okay and then we need to close this tag form now we need to write one script here to automatically submit this form so document dot forms and because we have only one form so the index value is zero and submit fine now we need to close this script tag and we are just going to copy this endpoint for the ch uh, changing email paste that here and it seems perfect now just store it and view exploit so view exploit means we are trying to test this exploit on my own user and here as you can see there is one error saying invalid referrer header okay back to the burp proxy this is the exploit endpoint and once we access this endpoint on the exploit server it is going to uh, offer us this form and we are going to change email endpoint for changing the email so here we found invalid referrer header this is our email now if you see this request closely you will find here uh, origin and referrer headers are there and within the referrer header you can see we have url but this url is from exploit server so if you see the genuine request of changing the email you will find here the referrer header contains the genuine uh, genuine domain with endpoint and the query string right but here once we publish that exploit you can see first of all slash exploit endpoint is not there and also the domain name is from the exploit server fine and in the lab description it's already said that the cross domain 
uh, is gonna be blocked so this is the genuine domain and this is another domain so what i'm going to try i'm going to send this request to the repeater first and let's try one more time by sending the request and as you can see invalid referral header so let's go and i'm going to just delete these two headers try to send the request again same invalid referral header that means referral header must be there uh, it's not gonna work like this so what we can do um, let's see if i just take this domain which is the genuine domain and put it here as the endpoint of the exploit server and try to change the email you can see the email gets changed and it is redirecting us to this location so if i back to the browser you can see wiener was our email but if we refresh the page wiener3 that means the email gets changed and that's pretty good so the thing here is what that within the refer header value you must contain this value must contain the genuine domain okay because if you do have another domain it is gonna see that this domain is cross domain to the real one and it's gonna block the uh, activity fine so let's go i'm going to change this exploit endpoint with the genuine domain name so this is actually domain name but here it's acting as an endpoint within this url okay fine and this is perfect just uh, i'm gonna change the email address because the email address must be unique so store this and view the exploit one more time and as you can see invalid refer header again now what's the problem because you see here it was working fine so go to the proxy and we will analyze the request again as you can see here first of all we go to the exploit server because we changed the endpoint before if you see here we go to the slash exploit endpoint but because we changed the endpoint so you see this real or genuine domain name as the endpoint and here we are hosting one page with the form so it's going to take us to change the email address but the thing here if we see the most important part which is refer you can see it's not taking the endpoint it's not taking the endpoint because the endpoint must be must be this fine and the complete value of the referral header must be this containing this endpoint so that means that means the browser is stripping or sanitizing the endpoint from this value and that's why we are not getting here the endpoint and if the genuine domain is not there somewhere in the reference value it becomes cross domain and the activity will be detected and blocked okay so this sanitization or stripping is done by the browsers for the security concern uh, concerns and uh, uh, basically all the modern browsers do this so to solve this issue what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna define refer policy refer policy value is unsafe URL so I'm gonna tell and explicitly define the referral policy to do not do anything with the URL or you can uh, go with unsafe url pattern okay that's it it's pretty fine i'm just going to store it one more time and let's just view exploit and if it works on us that means we are ready to deliver the ex this exploit to the victim okay and as you can see the email gets changed we are not getting any invalid uh, referral header error and if we come back here on the burp suite you can see this is the first request we are going to the exploit server and then this is the change email request and here this time if we see the refer header value you will see now this time it contains this domain okay now this time it is not sanitized or stripped from the uh, referer value 
and that's how this functionality is working and our email gets changed now again go back to the exploit server everything is working fine here we just need to change this hacked the email address and store it and just deliver the exploit to the victim and congratulations we solved the lab so that's it for this video and i'm gonna see you in the next module or the next uh, labs if you like the content please like subscribe and share bye